talking about the weather. In Cardiff, we have some sunny spares of sun. What you want about right. And Birmingham, there's a little bit of rain. And in Belgium, we have some storms. And okay. finally, hold on, we in uh, Canada, we have hail okay. and snow. Thank you, Harry. That was the weather. That's all of that it. was the weather forecast from Harry. Basically wet. We're now on day four of our vegan odyssey. Chicken. And me and, me and Harry have been eating vegan food for four days. And how would you describe it, it, it Harry? It is not be nice. Not nice, really. I've tried to be unbiased. I didn't mind the chicken nuggets and the chocolate at the start. But as, to be honest, as we've gone, it's gradually got worse, hasn't yeah. it? It started off okay in the first day. But mm. then when it got to the chicken pie... It was beef pie, steak beef pie. Steak pie. That was horrible. It was horrible. And the pea burger? I can't talk about it. You can't talk about it. We finally shut Harry up. Although I might need a clip for today. Well, we're going to try today. We're trying the uh, like meat curried, curried chicken. chicken. And it's pea based. I'm going to put my specs on. Where are my specs? And read what, right there. what it's got to say. Let's have a look. Okay, so, what are the ingredients? Right, where are we? Okay, so we've got water, pea protein, isolate. What on earth is that? It's gluten free as well. Pea fibre, marinade, uh, sunflower oil, natural flavouring spices. Oh, that's the phone. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. That's probably the vegan advisory board phone. <laughs> Right, we're back again. So, that was a phone call from the vegan advisory board saying, try our lovely vegan chicken. Do you think it's going to be lovely? No. Right. Here it goes. Anyway, so we're reading and the ingredients. Also, another thing, it's vegan and gluten free. Is it? Yeah. Is it really? Look. Oh, mustard, salt. Oh yes, vegan and gluten free. So, um, even orange. And I where is it made it. in? China. Germany. So we've got another vegan import here from Germany. Hmm. Oh my god. Why do you need to import it from Germany? Right, let's have I a look. I don't know. Right, so what do you think of that? Look, what about that? Uh, um, there we go. It yum, yum, yum. It really looks that tasty. So, pea isolate, I'm not sure what that is, but I presumably what they do is they dry peas, squish it up using energy, so maybe not using a lot of carbon and then mould it into say chicken. It does look a little bit like curry chicken. Are you going to try to sniff this Harry? Ready? Are you ready? With all the spices and that it should smell... Oh, mm, it smells alright. Yeah. It well, does, to be honest, this is probably the best like looking one we've seen. It, it, it smells and looks it, like it, a... It doesn't really look good but then it, it smells okay. Right. Am I trying it first? Yeah. I need a fork. Actually, that's okay. Yeah, I'll try this. Do you know what? Hmm. That's all right. Quite surprisingly, that's okay. Although there's a bit of a, mm, you get a bit of a bitter aftertaste. What do you think? Yeah. Harry says no. I don't like that. No. Mm. I'm certainly not wasting my butter chicken sauce on it. I actually just realised, so I was going to do a curry sauce for this. Butter chicken. And then you realise you're vegan, you can't have butter, can you? It's got cream in it. Um, yeah, so my take on this is, actually, this isn't too bad. I won't be buying that. Like that, was three, that was three quid for that little box. You can buy a whole chicken for three quid. It's sourced from 
Germany. I wouldn't be buying German chicken if I was in a supermarket. Yeah, because if you're in... The food miles on that horrendous, really. If you're in um, and you're getting something from Germany, just, you and just go to get some but it, English. I tell you what, I'll give that a 7 out of 10. That's a pretty good effort for fake meat. Uh, so we're moving on from that. I'm not going to have that again, but I wouldn't say it was terrible. We'll have some dairy milk in a minute. Um, tomorrow, we're finishing up with our final thing, which is going to be with special guest star Farmer P. We are doing the Great British Steak Off. We're going to be eating a Dexter steak against a plant-based um, steak. Mm. With Jack. Is Jack in it? I can't remember yeah. who's going to be part no, of it. No, I wasn't in it, was I? So uh, we'll see whether he's part of it tomorrow anyway. But we're all in it uh, today. Jack's milling around somewhere. Anyway, tune in tomorrow and find out how we get on with our final vegan meal. And I will be glad to get back to eating normally. Cheers all. Oh, I've just sort of give you a quick look, update on that video I've just done because um, yeah. It's interesting, I, I've done this before, I've eaten some of this stuff and thought it's not too bad and then later on I thought actually it's not that good and I've got a quite horrible taste in my mouth now. Now to be fair on that maybe it was the spices I don't know but I quite like the spices and chicken on curry anyway. There's a sort of bitter residue aftertaste there which hadn't gone away and I would not like to eat that again. When you eat it first of all you think mm, that's okay and now it's not okay. Ugh. Uh, mm. I'll stick to my chicken curry with chicken, I think.